What's the title? Of the painting. The this pa painting. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's the title, but the, uh, for now it's called, it's a theory that is called, maybe temporary name between my legs. I like, uh, I like the different uh, media because uh, media is like a language and I like to talk in many languages also. I think any language has got a, its way of saying things. So when I do a film, it's, it's, another, it's another feeling than to, to, to mess with a pool of paint. It's another thing. It's another... Different languages. It's a, yeah, it's like, you know, sometimes I think about people that grew up and knowing that uh, this is a leg. Grew up knowing that this is a reggae. And people that grew up knowing this is a uh, pie. So it's another, it's another way of seeing this, it's another sound. So for me, medias are kind of other language. Another way to say different angles of, of life. You also make this huge life-size sculptures made of, of wall paper? Yeah, yeah, from paper. Yeah. Why did you do it? So it started because I lived in Germany and I didn't know how to throw the garbage. <laughs> so <laughs> every morning I, so I would put my out. bag outside <laughs> and when I come back it was there and I took it up, you know. Then I had a pile of uh, garbage in my kitchen. In my <laughs> I had this wall full of... And then I had a, a lot of, of paper, of newspapers and I started to try to understand them, the, the, the material, and, and, and to lower the pile of, <laughs> of garbage, you know, so, so I started using them and rolling them and I made some furniture out of the baskets and, um, and, finally, and finally I understood that I can create human beings with these uh, newspapers because they contain all the, all the information about human beings, no? They contain uh, love, murder, rape, hatred, uh, tenderness, children, old people. Everything is inside the world, yeah? The material. So it's it's like a full human being with all this... A lot of information. Yeah, inside. bad and good, yeah, yeah. nice and uh, ugly, you know. And uh, uh, a lot of information, oh, like, you know. So... This is why this is why I started doing these creatures. I make some. Uh, I made. Some, I sort of invented a language, theatrical language. Uh, this drawing. So I draw. I draw a story. So like in, in, in Rishomon. It's called Rishomon. I started it uh, when I worked in theater with a friend of mine. I was the artist in the group, and I had to find uh, what to do in the show being an artist and not, a, and not an actress. So I started by painting the actresses in the show. And then I understood that if I use uh, drawing, on stage, so I can create another possibility to watch a story. It's a, it's a show without words. Nobody talks. But so you don't music. have. There was a music, yes. That that's a music, but nobody talks. So I can go with it everywhere practically. Everybody can understand it. It's it's a bit like art, and it's a bit like theater. So it's some kind of combination between the two. 
And I like also to collect things from the street and to transform them to something else. Like this, I found these five sheets on wow. the street. They're nice. So, I don't know what they will be in the end. So you don't have a picture in your mind? How not go. final, not final picture, just, you know, just a feeling maybe. So this, this way of looking uh, at a scene between my legs, I like it. It's like something very small that I can uh, protect, yeah, with my legs, like my legs are columns. Maybe it's a world that is disappeared, I don't know. The scene between my legs, I don't know. Now, as we talk, I feel I need some gold. So you put pictures in the picture? Yes. I hang pictures in my picture. It's my home. <laughs>